What's up guys, today I'll show you how to install AA panel on AutoHost VPS running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. But first, you need to have an AutoHost VPS and a domain. You can buy your domain on Namecheap. Uh, I can recommend Namecheap. And let's start. Go to AutoHost VPS and get your VPS. I suggest you need to choose at least 4 GB of RAM. And if you don't know how to set up your AutoHost VPS, I will put a link of my step-by-step -step tutorial on the description down below. And okay, let's start. I have already bought an AutoHost VPS and I will go to my client area. Okay, I am here on my VPS control panel and I'll just scroll down to see my IP address. And here is my IPv4 address. And now we will need to connect to our server using a free SSH client called Bitvice. So I will just run Bitvice. This is your IPv4. And paste your IPv4 here on host and use uh, root as your username and port 22 and just click login click accept and save your password is located on server information tab so just copy this one and paste it here just go to new terminal console Okay, here we are on our terminal and we are using Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Before anything else, let's update our packages. So do apt update dash y double ampersand and sudo apt upgrade dash y so hit enter okay we have successfully upgraded our packages now let's install AA panel so go to AA panel and go to download and copy this script and install it here so just right click and hit enter just choose Y okay we have finished installing AA panel and we can access our AA panel using this IP address with port 20972 so just highlight this one and it will automatically copy go to your favorite browser and paste it there just go to advanced click accept the risk and continue okay our username Okay, just copy this one, place it here. Okay, just highlight this one and place it here. And click login. Okay, just click finish. Okay, I'll just close this one. So let's install the recommended software packages. So this is the latest. Okay, let's uh, go to the latest 1.26. Okay, for my SQL, I suggest uh, use MariaDB. I will just use 8.2. Okay, let's use the latest uh, PHP my admin so pure FTPD is uh, the latest one 
uh, I will enable DNS server and mail server for if you want to have your AA panel uh, a mail server a functional mail server enable this one just click here one click and wait for a few minutes so this time you may grab some coffee or tea and wait for the installation to finish okay if this takes a lot of time um, installing uh, just close this panel and just skip and just uh, click restart so restart panel confirm okay perfect we have installed all the packages now we don't want to use IP address to access our AA panel okay just scroll down to settings go to security and beside the domain you can use your subdomain to access your AA panel let's say panel webshanks.shop but before saving this one you need to add in a record for this subdomain so go to your domain register and register this subdomain as an a record so i'll be going to my cloud there that is already connected to my name chip okay, i'll just uh, log in and choose your uh, domain i'll be using webshanks.shop okay go to dns and add your subdomain so ip is uh, i just copy this one because this is my ipv4 and just click save okay let's uh disable proxy first and let's go back to our a panel we'll wait for a few minutes for our uh, dns to propagate and just click save once we have our um dns uh, propagated just click save okay just enter your subdomain here panel.webshanks.shop and click the jump log in using your username and password given click login now we are using our subdomain to log in to AA panel but we are not still secure so we need to get an SSL certificate to do that just go to zero SSL and let's get to do that just go to zero SSL and get a free SSL certificate let's go to zero SSL just register a free account and just click new certificate so enter your subdomain here okay we will use 90 day certificate we'll skip this one and just select your free SSL certificate and just click next step and it will give you a downloadable uh, certificate and you will need to verify that on your domain register I will go back to all my dashboard okay certificates so this is my certificate I'll just renew this one okay next next the same process so just select this one and next step and 
and choose uh, the verification method. I will choose a DNS C name. Okay, just copy this one. Create a C name. Go to your domain register and select a C name. Paste it here. It will point to this one. Okay, I'll just disable this proxy and hit save. And let's uh, check if it's uh, already propagated. Okay, let's verify. Okay, perfect. Renewing your certificate and creating your certificate has the same or have the same uh, method for um getting your ssl certificate and we will just download this one okay next step okay i will just open my um zip file okay just open the private key we'll copy this one and let's go back to our AA panel. Go to settings. Okay, just go to security and click set beside panel SSL. Okay, we will replace our private key with our zero SSL. Okay, just copy this one, replace it here. And we will open our our certificate. Okay, we'll open this with our notepad. Okay, just copy this certificate here, and just click save. Okay, let's refresh our AA panel. Okay, we are now using a secure connection. Now you can install whatever web application you want to install on AA panel. So that's it. This is how you will install AA panel and use a subdomain to access your AA panel. If you have any questions, just comment them down and I will try to answer them all. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.